Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Microsoft has released a new update to Windows 10. It is now 21H1 and as always, I'm going to teach you how to slipstream it. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to legally obtain your Windows media. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is head over to Microsoft's website, that's www.microsoft.com slash en dash gb slash software dash download slash windows 10. An easier way to find out would be to just search for the media creation tool. Once you're on the website, you can see you have two options. You have update now, which will update the machine you're actually using. But in this case, we want to slipstream it, so we're going to download tool now. So you click on download tool now and it will save to your download folder. Once it's been downloaded, open up your download folder and simply double click on it. Windows account control will kick in, user account control rather. Once that kicks in, click yes, and then give it a minute to get started. Okay, the end user license agreement will pop up, so click accept after reading the terms and conditions. And it'll give you two options, you can upgrade this PC, or you can create installation media. We want to select create installation media. As you can see, it says USB flash drive, DVD or ISO from our PC, and we're obviously going to be using an ISO to create a DVD. So then we click next. It will give us a selection of language, edition and architect. I'm just using the ones that are optional for this PC, but if you untick this box, you can then select different languages and the 32-bit edition or the 64-bit edition. So for this time being, I'm only using 64-bit, so I'm going to use that. I'll click next. It's asking me if I want to create a USB drive, so I could plug in an 8 gigabyte USB drive and make a bootable Windows disk directly from this. But since we're going to add additional drivers and security patches to it, I'm just going to click an ISO file and click next. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. So I'm going to give it the name windows-21h1.iso and in this case I'm saving it onto my D drive. You'll have to remember where this is when you use NT Lightly to continue slipstreaming this build. So just click save once you've selected where it goes. I've already created one, but I'm going to just say yes to replace it in the pop-up and then we'll wait for that to go through. Okay, and there you go. We can see that it's completed. It's saved it to decon slash windows dash 21h1.iso and it gives me the option to open a DVD burner and burn it. But since I'll be using USB keys for that, I won't be doing that. I'll just click finish. It'll take a moment to clean itself up. And there we go. That's us now got a legit copy of Windows 10, which we can now use to slipstream. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.